Hello, so here we have uh, a pair of colour arrays pencils. So the one here above is an original one made in the USA. I'm not sure you can actually see that there, but there's actually a little bit there that says it's made in, uh, there we go, just about to say that, made in USA. There we go. And we have a very new one here, which is made by Prismacolor and has colour arrays on there as well. They seem to be the same colour, although they have a different number to them. Now, this is what I remember from when I was a uh, junior animator nearly 40 blooming years ago. So that's the graphics I remember. That's how they used to look. Obviously, this is the newer ones. Now, if you look at this one, this is actually made in, I think you can see that, Mexico, like that. Okay, so in terms of the colour that they do and how they rub out, let's have a go with the colour arrays one. So here we go. Oh, scribble it like that, like that. Okay. And and we'll do this one here. Da, 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 da. So that's the, um, you know, the colour's pretty kind of consistent. So that's a go of rubbing them out. Uh, to rub them out, just rub it like that. And seems going to, I mean, they never rub entirely out. You're never going to lose all of them. But usually for animation, that's not that much of a problem. It's kind of something that you'd do. So again, I'm now using the uh, um, uh, the newer one there like that. And uh, again, it, it's, they seem to be performing in exactly the same kind of way. So although, now this pencil here, you know, could be as much as 20 years old. It seems to be working perfectly fine, and as I said, it's it's an original colour erase pencil. This one here, the the Prismacolor one, is obviously you know when Prismacolor took over colour. Well, they took took over colour rays from Sanford, I think. Uh, so this is the new one there. So they seem to behave in exactly the same kind of way. So um, I hope um, that clears up a few things about colour erase pencils.